I still can't believe this is our very first time in Denmark. Wow. <laughs> oh, God, it's scary. <laughs> this is like magical. <laughs> and the best bit, Danish pastries. Hi, we're Stephen, Jess and little Hunter. <laughs> and just yesterday, we arrived in Denmark for the very first time after flying over to Europe for a winter getaway with our very first stop being right here in Copenhagen. <laughs> Greetings from cold Copenhagen. <laughs> and welcome to Copenhagen here in Denmark. I still can't believe this is our very first time in Denmark and what a place to kick off a little Europe winter adventure. We started things off down here at the waterfront. It is absolutely breathtaking. You see behind me, we have a beautiful canal and what makes this place so special is the colorful buildings behind me. They are a bunch of restaurants. So I think this morning we're gonna kick things off by having a nice hot chocolate. I've heard that Danish do very good hot chocolates. How do you guys missed our Singapore trip? My sister's joining us for the winter trip as well. What do you think of this cold weather? Uh, no. Look at how you get cozy. Your hands in the ice. Hunter knows how to stay warm for the winter. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Baba. Literally looks like she's about to rob a bag. <laughs> So we noticed that there were these canal boats going down the canal. We thought what a beautiful way to see the city seeing as it is on the water. So we just jumped onto one of these and I think it's going to be a beautiful way to see all the colourful houses coming past. Don't you want to live out your wildest dreams? Right now we've got Kind of cool. We just made our way to our second canal and this one is actually surrounded by a lot of houseboats. So a lot of people actually live on the boats that we're currently driving past. Huh? Oh, you can see it? I feel like Hunter's yeah. just going to eat the cream. Yeah. Thank you so much. Oh, so what you do with the special hot chocolate is we get a bit of cream and we put it in our hot chop. She just wants to eat the little chocolate bits. Yum. <laughs> it was like the perfect way to warm up after the little canal ride. It went for like an hour, did it? And it went to such cute little spots here in Copenhagen. It even went past the little mermaid statue that everyone says it's so famous, but it's so tiny. That's what they say, right? And we got to see it from the boat, so I feel like we can tick that off the list, right? And then when we armed um, back, we saw all these cute little cafes with the fire. And of course we had to go get hot chockies. What do you think, Hunter? Was it a good idea? Thumbs up. <laughs> Samples. Do you want a sample? Yeah, Hunter, on, grab, one. grab one. Yeah. <laughs> He's got it. Okay, you want the sprinkles? <laughs> oh, yummy. Okay. What do you want? Original, sticky? Whoa, thank you. Huh? Oh my thank goodness. You. <laughs> you got a sprinkle um, Christmas I'll, I'll treat? Can Dad have a taste, please? Sure. Oh. <laughs> That is so good. Right, it's like a waffle and a pancake mixed together. Oh, Daddy got chocky? Oh, thanks for getting it. He's given us all the free samples, Steve. Now I've got a free sample of hot chocky. Hot chocky's all around. Thank you. Shot my hot chocolate. Where's mine? Steve and Warren, that's not getting this thing. Thanks so much. Cheers. Cheers. Well, that tastes way better than the one we just had. How much better is that? Cheers, sweetie. I was just trying to work. Oh yeah, why is that so much better than the one we just paid nine bucks for? <laughs> it's kind of cool. When we were on the boat trip, they're letting us know why they are all painted houses. So hundreds of years ago, it was a fishing village. And of course, a lot of the fishermen were illiterate. So this was a good way for them to find out where they were staying or where they needed to take the fish. So they need to take it to the red building, the yellow building. Then of course, they've kept the colors. <laughs> Cheers. Oh, cheers. Thank you. Yum. Thank you. Yeah. A bit. <laughs> <laughs> I love Christmas market. Oh, look at this little glue. Oh, I love your little heart. Thank you. You're going to be drunk by the time we get to the end. <laughs> What's your favourite? Do you like the little cute reindeer? Look, look at the shop. Oh, do you like the Santa? Oh, he's pretty cute. Look at this guy. Oh, he's come on, cute. Steve. He's pretty cute. Yeah, he's cute. 
<laughs> do you like him? Guess what you do with him? Put him on the Christmas tree. Oh, that's nice. What? Cheers. <laughs> we found a place doing white glog, gluk. What's it called? Gluvine? White gluvine, and it's alcohol free. So Hunter can finally try. Hunter, do you want to try? <laughs> Come here. Two hands. <laughs> and that's apple juice. It tastes like apple juice? Yes, yummy. Mm. Tasty. What makes this so different? <laughs> this is the strong one. This is the strong one. Yes, of course. <laughs> Here we go again. The first Cheers. <laughs> Oh wow, that is strong. <laughs> 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 that is strong, you're right. Let's try it. Let us know what your first bratwurst is like. Mmm, <laughs> yeah. lots of flavour. Nice and hot. Mm. Rudolph the Red Nose Reindeer. Had a very shiny nose. A snotty nose. A snotty nose. <laughs> she said a very snotty nose. <laughs> that was a good answer. I feel like this is the fanciest food I've ever seen at a Christmas market. It was cooking four pieces of salmon on the fire connected to a big wooden board. And I felt like Santa cooked this for me. Oh my gosh, I cannot wait to try this. What did mummy get? Do you see potatoes and salmon? Oh yum, it looks delicious. Look at this. It's delicious, so pretty big and it's slimy. Slimy. Slimy? Cheers a potato. Want to cheese a potato? No, I'm going to Cheers your lettuce. Oh dear. <laughs> All right, cheers guys. Yeah. Cheers. It's like to our first proper meal in Denmark. Oh, there's potatoes. <laughs> and then there's some salmon. Where did you do that? It's really good, Cleo. Wow, this is so good. As you can tell, we um we didn't even plan today. We just came out of the waterfront area and there was just all these Christmas yes. markets going on. Oh, cheers! She's ready! Cheers! Uh -oh. Uh oh dear. This is my favourite thing about coming at this time of the year. Like, yes, it's cold. When can you come and see Christmas markets like this? <laughs> they just know how to do it here in Europe. Where again? Oh, we went to some in Canada. Yes. <gasps> cheers! That's what I was saying. I was like, is this Hunter's first time? And I'm like, no, she went to some in Canada when she was one and a half. And I think she liked the food then and she liked the food now. Do you like it? Mm -hmm. Aww. This is like the coolest Christmassy thing I've ever been to. We've just come to Tivoli Gardens. It is like an old amusement park back from the 1800s. And at Christmas time, it like turns into a winter wonderland. But the moment we walked in, you could just smell Christmas. There's elves working in the little shop. This is like magical. This is like even cooler than any of the Christmas markets, Steve. Oh, I feel emotional. Hunter's sleeping. <laughs> No wonder it smells so good. He's like roasting almonds. It smells delicious. I mean, Aww, Christmas. Christmas. <laughs> Where's my Christmas present? Yeah, I'll We're your Christmas present. Little baker's baking. Look at this. We got the candy canes. Wow. There's beanie Santa hats. Oh my gosh, I'm very tempted. Is this worth the gag if I wear it for the next few weeks? Let's see. <laughs> Is it a little Is it worth it? <laughs> <laughs> so, fun fact, Tivoli Gardens actually is a little bit of an amusement park here in the city and it's an extra memorable place because Walt, Walt Disney came here and it kind of like put that seed in his mind to go back to the States and start making Disney World. So, this is kind of like the birthplace of it, which is kind of cool. <laughs> We just wanted to say a massive thank you to EcoFlow for partnering up with us on this video and keeping us nice and cool and charged up this Valentine's Day thanks to their wide range of portable power products. Although it is freezing cold in Denmark, down in Australia, summer is in full swing and the heat is picking up. So to make your road trips more comfortable, we recommend checking out EcoFlow with all their different devices that can keep you charged up and cooler this summer. So definitely check out the amazing sales going on at EcoFlow, especially the EcoFlow Portable Wave Air Conditioner, as this is the fastest and longest lasting portable air conditioner that we've come across. And when you pair it with the EcoFlow Portable Max battery, this is actually one of the most sustainable ways to have an air conditioner, which 
It's probably not the two words you think of when you think of air cons. So there's so many options to go for. We personally love the Delta Pro portable power station. This is what we were using, this very one, on our van trip around Australia, and we just absolutely loved it. We absolutely love it. This is the largest one that EcoFlow does. It has 3.5 kilowatts worth of power, so you can really charge a lot of stuff on the go. Like, I really wanted to put this to the test for you guys, and I think I had a, I think I had a toaster, I had a kettle, drone, batteries, laptops go on, everything, and this thing was handling it perfectly. So if you're interested in picking up any of these devices, I'll leave a link in the description below. Now, let's head back to the travels. Come to Hot Jam. Look at these, yum. I was having a look at what was the most Danish sweet treat to try to Christmas markets, and they're these. Should I try say the word? Yeah. Abel Skiva. <laughs> Elf skewer. Elf skewer. Elf skewer. Like, You're probably saying it wrong. Like so. we're skewering the elf. Why have you decided now you know how to speak Danish? Because I did so well in France. <laughs> Come to the start of Champs de Lise. <laughs> <laughs> they worded them like pancake puffs. And they're hot and there's jam on them and they look so good. Guess I have to dip it in the jam. I'm scared how hot they are. Look at this. Mmm. It's really good. The jam tastes different. Sorry. Fluffy. No, it tastes like a round pancake. Hey, does it taste like a donut? No, no. no. It tastes like pancake batter, but they've made it into a ball. Why do I feel like Hunter would call this takoyaki <laughs> from being in Japan? We save one for her. <laughs> we, I'll, I'll save one for her. I'll have this one. Mm. I'm gonna say this is the most Christmassy I've ever felt outside of Australia because if you know if you have Christmas south of the equator so we have a very warm Christmas we've spent Christmas overseas and all the lead up feels Christmassy with the winter and the snow but then the moment you get to Christmas Day it clicks and it doesn't feel like Christmas but this because we're used to the warm Christmases yeah but this, but this is, feels like Christmas this feels like every Hallmark movie every movie you grew up watching it just feels like that it's so Christmassy, it's really magical here. Yeah. Good morning! Wanna see what we got you? What do you think this is? What is that? What is it? Wanna taste it? Takoyaki. Actually, what's it called again? <laughs> Alp <-skewer. laughs> Can you say Alp <-skewer? laughs> She said it better than all of us. Wanna try it? It's got strawberry jam on it. And it's so tasty. Wanna have a bite? <laughs> Yummy! And Hunter, did you want to go on a ride? Yes. Let's do it. Yay! Come on out. Yay! <laughs> Hunter! <laughs> now she's happy on her favourite ride. Bye! <laughs> and bye bye! <laughs> You like chocolate? Oh, I have this. So what's, thank what's you, your Santa? Name? What's your name? Nope. <laughs> Hunter, who did you just meet? Oh, um, Santa. Was he so nice? I gave him my chocolate. He gave you a chocolate? That's so nice of him. Yeah, Is he the nicest person? Yeah, Still in that stage of um, getting used to Santa. <laughs> that was still a pretty cool experience, I think. So. We decided to take a quick break from the Christmas markets. It is the next day, and we're going to a place we think we will be coming to, but we noticed it. On the walk up, we have gone to a 17th century Baroque style church. And as you can hear from my puffed out voice, we are making our way to the top because there's a very unique way to get to the top of this church. It's cool, they have like little broken bits. They've tried to preserve as much as possible the little baby angels. I believe we are now inside the spiral. Which you guys probably like, oh yeah, we've seen you walk up a spiral before. Just wait, wait till we find the door. So there's over 400 steps to get to the top of the spiral and as you can see we are currently really high above Copenhagen. The top of the spiral actually takes you outside and you can come in and walk to the top of this church. So epic. So thin towards the end. Oh my god, it's scary! Oh my gosh, I'm scared! Oh, I don't want to look down! Oh my gosh! Sorry. <laughs> I can't look the other way. <laughs> This is scary. <laughs> so beautiful, worth it to come out just to see the view from up here. We can see all of the city. Wow.
So for lunch today we've come down to a local food hall and what's so cool is basically it's two buildings next to each other that are completely made of glass with a bunch of places that you can eat. They also do places like with cheese and meats and then outside in the middle it is all this fresh produce. So fresh veggies, flowers, even Christmas wreaths. You can even make your own Christmas wreaths for your house. Such a beautiful spot. How are these the fanciest bread dish I've ever ordered? <laughs> Look at this! Not even gonna try to pronounce it. S'more abroad. S'more abroad. If you wanna sound like Google Translate, it's like S'more abroad. abroad. <laughs> <laughs> I've gone for a salmon, Jess has gone for a potato, and Clea's gone for an avocado, and that's They're just scratching like the surface. There were so many options so there. Many. They look so good. What have you got on yours? Like little berries, <laughs> and a avocado, and a flower. And a flower. Oh, <laughs> so fancy. I'm trying to look around to see how other people are eating it because I'm like, do you just pick it up and buy it? I feel like it's going to go everywhere. Let's look how beautiful this looks. The brownest rye bread you've ever seen with potatoes, do you reckon that's sour cream? Red onion and crispy onion. This looks delicious. Am I just going to go for it? <laughs> yeah, oh my gosh, please tell me if I'm doing this right. Liam, you need to try this. Try and get the crispy onion in it. Oh wow, it's amazing. It's so fresh. It's so different, like, I would never think of putting these flavours on the sandwich. No, like not enough, I need more. Yeah, <laughs> Look at that. Oh my gosh. Bite into this. Steve, yours looks like a peacock. <laughs> oh, it's good. It's good. <laughs> so good. This is what you want to wake up to. You look. He's our cocooning little baby. Oh, she is. Hello. Have you seen all the things in the window? Does it look yummy? Yes. <laughs> okay, can you flop like a fish? Yes. You're yeah. a little salmon! <laughs> <laughs> Steven's giving me the credit card. They told me to go wild, so I'm just gonna come out with anything that I think looks yummy. She's picking good stuff? Yeah, she's picking good stuff. Good I've job. chosen some yummies! There's another one in there too. Hunter, do you wanna see what I got? The Sonti donutty muffin thing. A raspberry Danish. And there's more. And a cardamom roll. She said this is one of the most Danish things you can get. It's good for that. And hot chocolates. Of course. What a way to start our day. I feel like it is tradition here in Copenhagen that you need to start your day with some very yummy baked goods and there are bakeries all over the city. I just Googled and saw one that had good reviews and this looked delicious. But Hunter, you've been eyeing this off, haven't you? Yes. Are you wanting to try it? I know you want to eat just the Nutella in the middle, don't you? Yes, I'm right. Yum, Hunter. Hold it with two hands. Have you got it? <laughs> How is that? Good? Should I try the raspberry one? Uh, what? Good idea. <laughs> See? Uh -huh. Should Daddy have a bite? Yes. All right, Dad. Cheers. Cheers, Cheers Dad. Yum. Mm. Wow, we that is amazing. <laughs> Try this. It's so. <laughs> 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 What's on Daddy's nose? Huh? <laughs> Some raspberry to it. Is it all gone? No, wake it. There's <laughs> <laughs> still more, Dad. Get Daddy. <laughs> it, I don't normally go for the fruity. I thought they did a pretty good job. So what's on your face? <laughs> <laughs> You're just as messy as daddy. We need to dive into the cardamom one, Steve. Is this like the uh, Danish version of fika? Having these with your hot chocolate? Yeah. Mm. It's good, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Actually, I think I prefer the taste of cardamom over cinnamon. You do? Yeah. Oh, that's good. It's really tasty. It's, really it's so intricate as well. Like, look, sometimes pastries can be like a work of art. And I love when this is like a traditional way of having breakfast in Denmark, right? <laughs> so no one can judge that uh, we're currently eating Nutella outside of, of a sugar-filled croissant thing. <laughs> is it so good? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. Cheers, Cheers honey. It's a chocolate. That's a good one. Ready? You ready? Have you just ever arrived at a Christmas market and Santa's just casually walking around? <laughs> that is the coolest thing ever and Hunter says no. <laughs> oh, that's a big phone. Yeah, it's a big one. <laughs> Oh, with the fish eyes. Yeah. yeah. Here, greetings from Cold Copenhagen. <laughs> thank you. Oh, thank you. Wow. Nice camera. Oh, thank you. Give me the hand. There you go, my lady. That? Is that Rudolph? Huh? Push the button. Push it. Oh, is his nose all red now? Yeah. It's Rudolph! My good friend! <laughs> <laughs>
uh, well, <laughs> our goal here in Copenhagen was to enjoy as much as possible while getting over the jet lag, and I think we did pretty good. We came at such a magical time of the year, but we know a country is best seen where you leave the city. So, if you're from Denmark or you've been to Denmark and you know some beautiful spots we need to add to our next trip. I'd love to do a summer road trip. Yeah, because we are heading off to Finland like first thing in the morning. But next time, let us know where we need to go and help us plan a road trip. Thanks so much for watching, guys. We'll see you next time. Bye!